I decided to become the, uh, the official celebrity ambassador for Lee Denim Day because uh, my friends at Lee asked me, and, uh, and I can't say no to them. My, I didn't realize you were an ambassador. It's an honorary title. I didn't even know you were a celebrity. I'm also very connected to the issue. Uh, my mom is a breast cancer survivor, diagnosed 14 years ago, and uh, fighting a good fight today. Welcome to DenimDay.com. I'm Mike Rowe. This is my mother, Peggy. Hi, Mom. Hi. So it, it's your very first full-on national photo shoot. What are, what are your thoughts? It goes on and on. And on it really does, Mom. It never does. It never does. But everybody's nice. It makes it a little easier. That's why my mom is sweeter than me. I just want to stop talking right with it. Never ends. Sweeter than I. And I also just think it's really a great idea to be able to to talk about this particular disease and to raise money for this particular disease. Mark. The That's the one, the big black one with the red light. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm right, because I'm like, but nobody has to take their jeans off. Okay, we can always go to cue cards if you think I'm abysmal. <laughs> no, I, you were great. I just oh, don't know what I'm saying. that I talked when you talked. Yeah, that was rude. <laughs> Main beneficiary of Denim Day is the Entertainment Industry Foundation, or EIF. And when they get the money, uh, it goes to a lot of different places, honestly, but primarily it's research and support. Well, historically, uh, Lee Denim Day has raised in 15 years now $83 million. And um, over those 15 years, it's really been done like five bucks at a time. In an effort to raise the stakes, you know, since Lee is obviously a, a jean company, we thought, well, what about the cost of a, of a pair of jeans? You know, what about asking people to just this once uh, rather than go out and, and buy a new pair of blue jeans, take the money you'd normally spend for them and contribute. This just struck me as a different way to approach the challenge. And, uh, and also, weirdly enough, it's fun. I thought we were doing jeans. Did I? You said pants. Listen to you. <laughs> jeans and a possible cure for breast cancer. What makes your jeans so powerful? What makes your jeans so powerful? <laughs> Exponentially, the opportunity exists to literally blow the doors off of this thing. Dress code, optional. Apparently. Could have driven a truck through that one, mother. What I'd like to do is to take all of the money they raised over the last 15 years, and uh, was it like 83 million? And then just like double that this year in one year. I seems like a huge goal. But as long as you're gonna swing, you know, go for the fence. Studly Inc. <laughs> Call me Mike. <laughs> well, in terms of advice, the best thing I can tell people who, who want to be involved in the fight for ending breast cancer is to go to DenimDay.com. It's very simple. Once you get there, you uh, click on the donate button and you submit the cost of your favorite pair of blue jeans. I can't imagine a simpler thing. Really? Will you put your pants back on? Probably not.